Good morning, White House Model Cats. Good morning, White House Model Cats. Good morning, White House Model Cats. Hey, Buenos Dias. Buenos Dias. Today is Thursday, April 15th. 15th. <laughs> and we are here to celebrate Theater Thursday. So I have a book that I brought from my office, and it's called What Should Danny Do? It is by Janet and Adir Levi. There's eight stories in one. We're only going to do part of one, okay? Ooh. So here's a start. Here's the key. Look at He's dressed like a ninja. Oh, no. This morning, I was caught by the evil Dr. Ninjario. But have no fear. After 100,000 minutes, I'm finally on the brink of escaping. His laser beam dungeon is no match for me. Can you see the pretend laser beam? Yeah. All those beams in his, in it his bedroom? It looks kind of like real. Uh -huh. Danny, it's time to get ready for school, Mom calls out. Oh, man. I'm busy trying to escape from Dr. Ninjario, and if I stop now, I may never get out. What should Danny do? Should he continue playing? Or should he stop playing and get ready for school? Get ready for school. Get ready for school. Good choice. Good choice. Get ready for school. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go to page 38. Later at recess, I run straight out to the soccer field. Uh oh, Parker is playing. I'm a little scared of him. We start the game. And Parker quickly scores three goals on Albert. Ha ha, three goals in three minutes, he says. You're the worst goalie ever. Albert cries and runs off the field. A few minutes later, Maddie tries to stop the ball. It rolls right under her foot and goes straight into the goal. Parker yells at Maddie, you're worse than Albert. Why don't you go join him in the crybaby corner? What should Danny do? Should he continue playing without responding? Or should he tell Parker to play nicely? Play nicely! No, 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 no. We do no, not want no. children crying in our school. All right, so page 14. I'm a little scared of Parker, but then I remember I'm a superhero. If I don't stop him, who will? I think I need a sidekick for this mission. Hey, Jakey, let's go tell him to stop, I say. Okay, as long as we go together. And there he is with his friend, Jakey. I summon my super bravery and I walk up to Parker. If you aren't nice to us, we won't play with you, I say. Yeah, Jakey says. Then Maddie, Micah, and Josh say that they won't play with him either if he isn't nice. Parker is surprised. I don't care, he says. Don't play. We all go over to the next field to start a new game. Just before we start, Maddie gives me a hug. Thanks for standing up for me, Danny. But then I see Parker all alone. I know I would feel sad if I didn't have anyone to play with. Maybe Parker just needs a friend. I run over to him. Hey, Parker, we want you to play. We just want you to play nicely with everyone. I don't want to play, he says. Well, you're one of the best players. We want you back. I'm not in the mood. Here, this might help, I say. You can wear it for the rest of recess. And what he has on him is a cake. Superman cape, and so he puts it on his back. We run back to the field. Parker's really nice for the rest of the game, and I wonder if it's my cape that did the trick. Later, my super muscles beg to be recharged. Luckily, it's lunchtime. I see Leo sitting all by himself. He looks sad. If I stop to ask him what's wrong, it might take too long till I get to eat. My super muscles won't like that. What should Danny do? Pretend not to notice that Leo is sad, or should he ask Leo what's wrong? <laughs> All right, to be continued next Thursday. Okay? All right, are we gonna have lunch today? We are. So for lunch today, you will be having chicken tenders or a chef salad with a dinner roll, 
also with orange wedges or cuties and fresh mixed veggies with dip. And then tomorrow for breakfast, you're gonna have a blueberry muffin with a juice box. We have birthdays? We do. Woo! We've got a couple birthdays here. We've got Juliana Corona in fifth grade. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday! We have Eduardo Luviano Alvarez in fourth grade. Happy birthday! That's all. Oh, that's okay, and I'm just noticing that you guys have spoons attached to the edges of some of your desks. I see cotton balls. I see what? Tape? And I see, what else? A rubber band. And so, what are you building? A catapult. A catapult. A catapult? What a great word, catapult. And so are you experimenting? Yeah. yeah. To see how far you can make, what? Uh, the cotton ball go. Okay, but you can only use the rubber band, the spoon, and tape? Yeah. Oh, good luck with your mission. Mm -hmm. That's great idea. Then we will redesign it later and see if we can get it to shoot farther with our redesign. Oh, will you invite us in? I will. Yay! All right, so this is different from what we normally say. Five First thing we're going to do is what? Oh, that's right. Okay, stand up and flush. <laughs> All right, we're going to say our breaths. It's in Spanish this week. Yeah. All right. Yo, Yo prometo de atar a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de America y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios indivisible con libertad y justicia para todos. All right, turn around, face the camera. I'll come up here so I can see your beautiful faces. Okay, get ready to say loud and proud like a white-headed wildcat. We are the Whitehead community. We are the Whitehead community. Number one, we honor and respect each other. We honor and respect each other. Two, we are safe and kind. We are safe and kind. Three, we stand against inequities. We stand against inequities. Number four, we have the responsibility to excel in learning. We have the responsibility to excel in learning. That's a mouthful. Number five, we are all different, and that's what makes us great. We are all different, and that's what makes us great. Nice job, kiddos. Say bye. Bye.